Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. If you're new here, my name is Matt. Today's video topic came about because of a conversation I had with Josh from today's video sponsor, Tish Hanley. Josh asked me what some of my favorite hidden gem whiskeys were and I was like, Josh, let's just turn that into a video. So before I bust out some of my favorite hidden gem whiskeys, let me first tell you about today's video sponsor, Tish Hanley. What exactly is Tish Hanley? Well, it's uncomplicated skincare. For men, your face may never look like Demi Lovato's, but it can sure as heck look a lot better than it does right now. And Tij Hanley makes it extra super easy and quick to help your face look extra super sick. Sick in a good way. First thing you see when you open the box is a card telling you exactly how to use your skincare system. Level one kit comes with a wash, a scrub, and AM and PM moisturizers. Say goodbye to dirty pores and greasy face. With newly rejuvenated skin, you may get to third base. The AM moisturizer, love it. Has SPF 20 built in so I can go outside in the sun and stare at it and not worry about my face burning to a crisp. If you step up to the level three system, which I use, you also get the super serum and the eye cream. Whoop! We all scream for eye cream. Super serum, see you later wrinkles. I call it my pumpable Brotox. Since Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a special deal. Go on into the description of this video and click on that Tish link. It'll bring you to the ADHD Whiskey Viewer section of their website where you're gonna save 30% off your first box, get a free gift, and save 20% off your subscription for life. And P.S. their free gift game has never been better. They got this antimicrobial body scrubber that just gets into all the nicks and crannies that you never knew existed. And they also have this nail kit. Look at that. Look at that. Those are high quality clippers right there. Thank you so much T. Shanley for sponsoring this video. Now let's get in to these hidden gems. When it comes to defining what a hidden gem is, I suppose I had to do a little thinking about that. And when I thought about it, I thought good and hard. I didn't wanna make a list of super allocated products that are hidden because there's not very many of them, or they're just, you know, designated to the secondary market for frig and flippers and flip floppers and flop flip and flip floppers. So I decided to compile a little list of whiskeys that you could probably maybe still find in random places around the country if you look hard enough. Things that could potentially still be on the shelf somewhere. If you're in the right place at the right time or just the right place at the right time. Those mean the same thing. I literally just said the same thing, but I thought that I meant them differently. First on my list is any Elijah Craig barrel proof that has a batch on it that is C920 or earlier. By earlier, I mean C920, B520. Or the piratey bottles that look like they're stashed in a pirate's chest. Next up on my list is a very expensive bottle of whiskey, but it is some of the most unique and delicious whiskey that I've tried in the past couple of years that isn't exactly like traditional Kentucky bourbon. No, it's Kentucky single malt. And it's the Rare Character Exceptional series. This one is a store pick from Justin's House of Bourbon. It is a 13 plus year, 124 proof, American single malt that was aged in new charred oak. These are very expensive though, north of 200 bucks. So if you find yourself in a speakeasy or a bar or a tavern or watering hole as some people call it, and you see a rare character exceptional series on the shelf, buy yourself a pour to see what else Kentucky has in store. Rare character exceptional series. We all know that tremendous products are coming out of 13th Colony Distillery, but have you ever heard of 13th Century? If you look close enough, you can see that they've got a friggin' glass still inside of the bottle. This 13th Century is an American straight rye whiskey. It is sourced from MGP and then aged in the hot Colorado climate in small barrels. What happens when you put that MGP rye into small barrels in the Colorado climate? The proof? 
she goes up. This rye whiskey was aged in 30 gallon casks here in Colorado and the ABV went through the roof. 70.9% alcohol. That's 141.8 proof if you're not Neil deGrasse Tyson. How far outside of Colorado is the distribution on this 13th century? Not sure, but if you ever make it through the super flat yet super mountainy state of Colorado and you run into a liquor store and see one of these bad boys on the shelf for like a hundred bucks, it is a super fantastic hazmat rye whiskey. Next on the list is a gigantic jug of whiskey that I've mixed together. Just kidding. This video is taking much longer to shoot than I thought, not because the list is very long, but because I have trouble speaking. I literally can't talk right. It's a problem. If you come across one of these Knob Creek cask strength rye whiskeys, one of them says barreled in 2010, the other one says barreled in 2009. These are fantastic, just awesome. Roughly nine year old cask strength rye whiskey from Jim Beam. The Knob Creek cask strength straight rye. I see them on shelves every once in a while. I'll see one on the shelf. And if I didn't have a bottle and a backup, do I have a backup? Crap, I might not have a backup. This limited release is highly underrated and underappreciated as a cask strength rye whiskey in the world of Kentucky ryes. So good. Then we have Jack Daniels Distillery Series Toasted Pecan Finished Tennessee Whiskey. It's 120 proof and it is awesome. This came in at number eight on my top 10 whiskeys in 2023. Are you gonna find this everywhere in the United States? Nope. Will you find it all over Tennessee? Probably not, but this was distributed in Tennessee, so if you find yourself in that weird shaped state that looks like a frying pan, that's not Tennessee. Tennessee kind of looks like this, I think. But if you find yourself in Tennessee and you're in a liquor store and see these distillery series releases, take a peek through them, a gander, and see if they have the one finished with toasted pecan wood chips because if you can pick up a pecan, would you be silly for not picking one up? Yes. I'm going to start a petition for them to bring this back as like a permanent release. We want Jack Pecan. We want. No hidden gem list would be complete if you did not include Rebel 10 Year. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It's a weeded bourbon, a product of Luxco, but contract distilled at another location in Kentucky that may or may not rhyme with Schmevenschmill. 10 year old weeded Kentucky bourbon at 100 proof. Matt, are you talking about old Fitz? Are you talking about the old Fitzgerald decanters? Yeah but no. These are single barrels of the same stuff you'll find inside those old Fitz decanters. And 10 years is just the minimum age on these barrels. Some of them are older. Every time I see one of these on a shelf in a store, I laugh. <laughs> idiots, stupid idiots who didn't buy it. And then I leave it there for the next idiot to not buy. Which reminds me I should go out and buy all of them before, you know, someone lets the word out. Rebel 10, one of my favorite bourbons in this garage and definitely a hidden gem. Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Rye Whiskey. These are single barrels that were released in 2023. This was my number two whiskey of the year last year. I haven't seen any of these in Colorado yet, but they are like, you know, hitting in spots all over America. This is supposed to be a wide release, like a normal release. Something that eventually you're gonna see on shelves like all the time. Not necessarily hidden, but sort of hidden because it just depends on where you're at. If you don't live where these are available and you travel to an area where they are, make sure you travel back to the area where they're not available with one in your car. And finally, last on my list is a few bottles. I go into stores all the time and see these sitting on shelves. Try to say see these sitting on shelves without saying see these shitting on shelves. It's really hard to do, but I just nailed it on like the 10th try. In 2021, my bourbon of the year was Sam Houston 15 year. In 2022, my bourbon of the year was Calumet 16 year. And these bad boys just still sit on shelves. These bad boys are still laying around for like 150 bucks. These are like sister companies. They're like, you know, the same company with different labels on them. But the Sam Houston 14, 15, and 16 and the Calumet Farm 14, 15, and 16 are all ridiculously good. Like super amazingly awesome good bourbon that has no reason, no excuse to sit on a shelf anywhere. 
They should be on bars in everyone's homes. And that's gonna do it for my list of hidden gem whiskeys that everybody should try and or buy. If you made it this far in the video, hit the thumbs up, ring the notification bell, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and leave a comment down below. What are some hidden gem bourbons or whiskeys that you know of that you would put on this list that I didn't? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on supporting the people who support this channel. Click on that link in the description below. Head on over to Tiege Hanley. Get yourself 30% off your first box, a free nail kit or scrubber, and save 20% off your subscription forever. Your skin and your significant other will thank you. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.